You know what? I can't remember. Hey, what's going on, ladies and germ? CHH here. So today we're doing some trivia. We're doing some Friday the 13th trivia. So what we're going to do for this week's Friday Friday, it's going to be the nightmare question. So we've got this game. Uh, this came out years ago. It's called Killer Trivia. It's Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street questions, and Freddy vs. Jason, the movie questions. You can kind of play this a few ways. If you want to just do Jason questions, you can. If you want to do just Nightmare on Elm Street questions, you can. Um... Just whatever you want to do, you can mix and match, mix and match questions. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff with this game. Uh, but for today's video, I'm gonna pull the Jason pack of cards out. Sydney, do you have the Jason cards? Here's the pack of Jason cards, right there. And there's a dice we roll. The higher the number, the more difficult the question. There is a Freddy vs. Jason dice on here, too. If it lands on that, since Freddy, uh, Freddy vs. Jason is considered both a nightmare and a Friday the 13th movie, if we land on that, I will roll... Sydney will grab a Freddy vs. Jason card, which she has some right there, and I'll roll a number. And whatever number we get for that will be that question. We're going to do 20 questions, Friday the 13th style. So, without further ado, Sydney's off camera to my right. I may bring her on next time, but I'm just going to set her to the side for this one. But she's got a professional microphone, so you'll be, you'll be able to hear everything she's saying. So without further ado, Sydney, I guess we're going to start. This will be question one. I'm going to roll the dice. The higher the number, the more difficult it is. Let's see if I know my Friday the 13th. I'll probably fail miserably at this. All right, I got a one, so this should be an easy question. What was the only thing that Jason feared? There's al there's also like multiple choice. Give me the multiple choice just so I can be sure. A his mother, B Tommy Jarvis, or C water, D fire. See, I feel like this is a trick question because we all make fun of Freddy versus Jason for water, but he loved his mom, so doesn't it, it has to be water, right? Is that your final answer? Final answer. Yes. Okay. You see, you see how that could be confusing, though, right? Question two. All right, I got a two, oddly enough. Here it is. In Friday the 13th, part three, which part of Shelly's body did he fake putting a knife into? A, his head. His head. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Question three. I got a one again. Here we go. True or false? During Friday the 13th, part two, it was revealed that Alice's body was found in a dumpster. False. Final answer? F yeah, then a dumpster. Yeah, it was never found. So far, so good, guys. Four. Okay, this is a four. This is this is my th fourth question, right? Yes. Okay, this is my fourth question. I got a four. That's going to be difficult. Which film series did the title sequence for Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives, parody? 007. That is correct. Didn't even have to give All right. Answers. Question five. I got a two. I haven't got one wrong yet. Who was the only counselor in Friday Part 2 that wanted to visit the abandoned Camp Crystal Lake? Is there names? There are. A. Sandra. B. Jenny. C. Terry. Or D. Paul. Oh, wasn't it the couple? Uh, I'm going to go with Sandra. That is correct. Yes. All right, question six. Oh, shit. All right, this is a five. This is the most difficult you can get. We're not sponsored by Angry Orchard, by the way. They just taste good. Who wrote the Friday the 13th Part 2 screenplay? Friday the 13th Part 2 screenplay? Yes. Give me multiple choice. A. Ron Kurz, B. Barney Cohen, C. Todd Farmer, or D. Victor Miller. Uh, that's actually pretty easy. All right, so Todd Farmer wrote Jason X. Victor Miller wrote Friday the Thirteenth. I say I think Barney Cohen wrote. Barney Cohen wrote Part Four, so it's A. Kurz. Correct. All right. 
Six. Question six. We got a three. Three is moderately difficult. In Jason X, who played Adrian? If there's multiple choice, go <laughs> ahead and read them. A, Melody Johnson. B, Melissa Aid. C, Yanni Gelman. Or D, Kristen Angus. I pro- If I pronounce anything wrong. I'm I sorry. don't know this, to be honest with you. I'm going to go with uh, A. No, it was D, Kristen Angus. Kristen Angus, okay. I got one wrong. I got a Freddy vs. Jason. So now we're going to roll the dice again for this. This is, uh, what question is this, Sydney? How many questions have I done? I think this is your seventh. Okay. All right, I got a one for our Freddy vs. Jason question. It's your eighth. All right, it's my eighth question. You got a one? One for Freddy vs. Jason. And Freddy vs. Jason, who was Will's friend at Weston Hills Psychiatric Hospital? A, Blake, B, Mark, C, Glenn, or D, Eric? I, why am I drawing such a blank on this? This is ridiculous. Will is the boyfriend to the main character. And it's the friend who starred in that movie Rampage I love. Say the names again. Blake, Mark, Glenn, or Eric? <laughs> I can't remember. At all. Screw it. This is so embarrassing. Is it is it Blake? It is Mark. Mark. That's my middle name too. Son of a bitch. It's my second one wrong. All right, I got a 2. This is my ninth question. Yes. Okay. In Friday part 7, The New Blood, which girl disliked Tina? Melissa, Maddie, Sandra, or Kate? Melissa. Correct. All right. This is number 10. Halfway. Shit, I got a four. This is a pretty difficult one. In Friday the 13th, who did Alice find a Pamela Voorhees Jeep? Oh, man, this is tough. Would you like the... Yeah, I think I remember. Steve Christie, Brenda, Bill, or Annie? I think it was... When did Steve? He was Annie. Shit, man. Steve got killed pretty late in the movie. That's why I thought it was the Jeep. But then again, she the Annie rode the Jeep in the beginning. God almighty. That's my third one wrong, so I guess I'm doing relatively okay. Question eleven. Shit. Five. Difficult. In Friday, six, Jason lives. Who played Jason on the first day of shooting? If you say his name, I'll know it. Kane Hodder, C.J. Graham, Dan Bradley, or Ari Lehman? Dan Bradley. Correct. And you know why he got kicked off, Sydney? Mm -mm. The producers thought he was too fat. But he's actually in the movie. He's in the movie for a few shots. Three. This is question 12. In Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter, how did Trisha meet Rob? At a party? At a store? When her car broke down or at her home? Car broke down. That is correct. Question 13. Got a four. All right, that's a difficult one. In the final chapter, who won the beer chugging competition at the party? Ted, Tina, Sarah, or Terry? Terry. Tina. Damn it. Tina. Oh, it was one of the twins. That's right. I knew it right after I said it. Is that my fourth one wrong? Yes. What is this? Question 14? All right. Freddy versus Jason. That's my 14th question? It is. All right. Freddy versus Jason. And I got a two. In Freddy vs. Jason, who was Lori's first love? Will, Blake, Mark, or Trey? Will. Correct. It's her only love. 
All right, question 15. I got a one. This should be an easy one. And Jason takes Manhattan. What filled the Manhattan sewers at night? Toxic waste. Correct. <laughs> question 16. Four. Uh, this should be pretty difficult. Finally, a Jason takes Manhattan question. We haven't gotten much of those at all. And Jason lives. Who did Sissy say was the ace of spades in the card game Camp Blood? Paula, Sissy, Tommy Jarvis, or Jason? Jason. Correct. They didn't know who Tommy Jarvis was yet. <laughs> all right. Question 17? Yes. One. And Jason takes Manhattan. Where did the final shot take place? Times Square, West Side Docks, the sewer, or Greenwich Village? It was Times Square. They show the panning, and it's just about to be daylight. Correct. So far, I think I'm doing okay. Freddy versus Jason. One. Should be an easy one. True or False. During Freddy vs. Jason, Freddy put on Jason's hockey mask to mock him. You know what? I can't remember. Well, you have two options. False. Correct. Uh, I was going to say, I don't remember him put on the hockey mask. Oh, what is this, Sydney? This... Let's see how many questions I got left. You have two more questions left. All right, and I've only gotten how many wrong? Four. Four? That's not that bad. Two. True or false? Except for Jenny, all of the counselors in Friday 2 were killed. See, this is a trick question. Nobody knows if Paul died. What's your answer? False. Correct. Because... I think that was actually that should have been like a five, because do you I, sit, look? Sydney likes these movies, guys, but she does not want to watch them as often as me. She's screaming, "Where's Paul?" at the end of the movie. They got into the fight in the barn, and then we don't we don't see what happened to him, so we don't know what happened to him. So it had to be if it would have been true, I would have called bullshit on this game. But I'm gonna give this game a lot of credit. All right, this is our last question. Let's make it a five, just to be fair, for the most difficult question type of question I don't feel like this one's very hard but who directed Jason X I'm not going to give you Jim Isaac I must say I'm not going to give you the answers yes all right now let's test Sydney's we're going to give one question to Sydney no. and I'm going to make let's we'll see if Sydney knows it absolutely not all right I've got the card Sydney I'm going to roll the dice for you so how many questions did I get wrong Sydney four yes so, if it's 10 questions and you get one wrong, that's 10 points off a piece, right? Out of 100. So, if I got four questions wrong, that's five each. That's 95, 90, 85, 80. I got an 80 on the test. That's not bad. All right, here's Sydney's question, and it's a two for Friday the 13th. You ready, Sydney? I guess. Well, it's one of those corner reports, so... So, just pick a different card. Okay. During Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, a street gang challenged Jason to a fight until they saw what? What does Jason do after he kicks their radio? I say he kicks their radio, but I don't... What happens after that? I don't really remember, honestly. You don't remember? No. <laughs> he lifts his masks up. Remember? He lifts oh, the mask yeah. up and they run off. All right, Sydney's terrible at this. She I'm needs not, to rewatch the movies again, quite frankly. But I'm also not a... Um, Jason Takes Manhattan, super fan. With that, we're going to end this video, <laughs> guys. I did pretty good. I got an 80. I got an 80 out of 100 on that. That's not bad. So if you want this game, guys, quite frankly, I don't think it's available anymore. You have to go on eBay for it, but it's really fun. Friday, I'll have other videos throughout the week, but Friday we are going to do the Nightmare on Elm Street questions, and I better get 100 on that or else I'm a fraud. Excuse me, but thank you for watching this. This is Freddy vs. Jason Trivia. Cheers. We have a Friday the 13th come up in May. That'll be, that'll be fun. We'll do something special. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. I did pretty good.